In this video, I'm going to go over adding parts to a service call. So if I go to appointments, then at the bottom here I have a fake company service call. So when I open this, it says the reason for visit, please create three different appointments with travel and labor time. One appointment must have a lunch. Each appointment must have one part on it. One part must be a miscellaneous part. One must be a repairs part and one must be a normal part. The normal part can be whatever normal inventory part you want. Please also note in the work done which part you are putting in. So I created this service call so that every technician can do this and basically just test out that everyone is capable of adding each part to a service call. So when I'm done with this, I'll make sure I provide the link to people, but I'm going to schedule every technician on this and you all will just kind of go through the reason for visit and, and make these three appointments and do the three different parts. That way, as we transition to going completely paperless, we'll know that everyone's done this and is capable of doing it. So I'm just going to do one appointment and one, probably the miscellaneous part, because that's the most rare, And but I'll show you how to do the other ones. So. As we go through this, let's start at the top, work type. It's gonna be regular and not PW. Service code is nurse call. Okay, start date. Let's just make it 10. Travel hours, we'll go 15. Lunch start time is 11. Labor hours, we'll go five. Travel back is another 15. Okay, so that auto-calculated the end time. So I didn't take my own vehicle, so there won't be no POV mileage. Work done for service call. Added a miscellaneous part. Okay. Pause hours project number. Okay, so the service call's in there. All right, so I am going to save this because this is the appointment and appointments and parts are different. It's not, the part doesn't get assigned to that appointment. A part is a new kind of creation in the service call. So now that that's saved, I can go to the top right in that menu icon and there's parts about two thirds of the way down like that. In the top left, let's create a new part. So we'll go in there. So entry date will be today, service call. There's the item number. Off to the right is that magnifying glass. We'll click there. And this is currently what you have in here is just the whole inventory. So whatever I want, I can uh, either search through it or I just search for keywords that I know will be in there or even a part of a word. So if I do a council, I'll just put CON and see what happens. There's conductor, so let's add an S. There we go. So council, council receptacle, council desk stand. So I can just pick whatever I want. There's a there's council. So this is quantity and the stock location, that's default gonna be your van because Nate has to assign the item to a location. And it has to go somewhere between the job and the shop, and it's your van. So resource code, all these things are done already. So then I would just click save, and I can add another part if I want, or just go back and be done. So right now I'll click that little X next to the magnifying glass to get rid of that item. And now let us go to, yeah, I'll take that guy out too. Okay, so my fat finger can't hit the button. Okay. Okay, so let's go to a repairs. So I can either hit the magnifying glass or since I know the number for it, I can just type in, as you can see, I've done this before. Just I'll click on repairs with an S. And what that does is basically just loads that description to uh, enter the item of repair. So this is gonna, be whenever 
a brand new part isn't going in. So even if it's a loaner off the shelf that we're putting in, we're going to put a repairs on it and then that just signifies that it's not a new part. So the description is just going to be, let's do a R5 console. So that's gonna be, what is it? 351, 200, and Nate doesn't really need this because he knows all those numbers, but we'll put R5 council. And then if there's just one, all I would do is click save, and then I'm done with that repairs. And there's also a, a note section if you want to add anything to it. But um, that is the repairs item, so it's, it's pretty easy, and just make sure you fill out that little half sheet when you get back to the shop, and then Nate will know exactly what needs to happen with it if it's going back to the job or sorry the service call or to stock or to your van okay so let's get rid of this one so we'll hit those X's if I can manage okay so now we're free and clear again so now we'll go to the last one the miscellaneous items and a miscellaneous items is they're items that aren't inventoried and something that you have to buy offhand like I have to go to Home Depot to grab a certain bracket or something because I have to finish this job so again we can just type in miss parts or you can search for it in here so miscellaneous miscellaneous parts we can click on that and it's going to be pretty much the same thing as the description of the repairs item. You basically just put in what you bought. And since I'm in an old office, I'll just use something around here. So it is a Soundcraft. Nope. Soundcraft Magnetic. Recording tape. And the actual number is P24. Okay. So I will end up saving this. But if we're going to do three different appointments, we'll have three different dates. So make sure you use the correct date for the part that you entered up here. Make sure that's the correct date that matches up that appointment. So if I created the first appointment and said in the, in the work done, adding a repairs part, and I don't use the correct date, it's going to be incorrect. So I'm going to kind of treat this as a test and just not give you much help other than watching this video so that we can make sure that people have this down. And so we just go to save. And that item is saved. We can go back and add another one up in the top left if we want and just add all three like that. So it should be pretty easy to do. Um, I gave you everything you need in here. So if you've got any questions, just let me know. But I hope this helps.